Yes, son. You doing a video? I, I, I am. Let me get in the video, man. Come on, say hi. Hey, people. The camera's over there. Where? Well, yeah. my beautiful dreamers and welcome back for another video with your girl Shalanda what okay guys so let's get into a product review for our trusses you guys know that I am protective styling right now that's just my choice and I'm loving it before we jump in welcome to all my new beautiful dreamers if this is your first video then welcome I'm happy you're here I know it's a little weird for me to be asking you to subscribe when you just got here you're like girl oh get your life let me see what you about first but if you are interested, you can go ahead and subscribe and you can click the bell so you never miss another video with your girl Shalanda Watt. However, if you choose to wait and hold on to the end, just make sure you subscribe before you leave, okay? okay? Okay, guys, so I want to go and review this product right here. I want to talk about this one right here. This is by Camille Rose Naturals Honey Hydrate, the leave-in collection. Now, I saw this in Target, and I do see that she came out with three different ones. She has one that's, she has this one and two other ones. I believe one of them is more like a sealant, like a, a oil or something. But of course, you guys know, my eyes just went right here. And just in case you don't know, Wakanda forever. So, of course, I wanted to try this. Why did I want to try this? I wanted to try this because I love honey, right? how good it can be as a deep conditioner, to be included in the deep conditions, all the benefits that honey definitely add to the hair. This is a golden honey base conditioned to provide maximum hydration. So, the, the I want to emphasize that this has maximum hydration. Hold on to that for a minute. Use as a leave-in on freshly conditioned hair, then style as desired. The ingredients, I mean, it's freaking fantastic honey olive fruit oil castor oil olive leaf juice bilberry fruit sugar cane sugar maple sweet orange fruit lemon fruit extracts caramel and then it's op op optifian I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that but basically what it is it's like a preservative to help you know with keeping it fresh as it sits on the shelf and stuff okay um and yeah and that's it that was it. All the ingredients that I just shared with you is what is in this. You can't help but love it, right? So right after I did my wash day, of course, this is what I used as my leave-in because I really wanted to see what it was like on nice, clean hair. So as I pulled, poured it into my hand, I was just like, okay, this was a cute idea, especially for like deep conditioning and stuff because you can wash that bad boy out. But you want me to leave this in my head? Like, this is never gonna work. You guys know I have very fine hair, so I'm like, anything that's heavy is really gonna weigh it down, which actually probably be, would be really good for a wash and go. I'm just saying, if it's a little heavier, stretch your curls. Anyway, so I went to apply it, and I felt like it disappeared. It went from, and when I say heavy in the hands, it's not quite heavy, but it's honey, so you can imagine the weight that that comes with. But when it uh, when it when it connects with water, and it's best to use this on your hair while it's wet, of course. I mean, it just kind of disappears. Like the weight of it disappears, and it almost feels as though you're not applying anything. And I can't necessarily say that was a good thing or a bad thing. It all depends on your personal preference. As I applied it, because I started out with a little because I'm thinking, this is honey. You know, you want to go very lightly with honey. I'm just saying. So when I first applied it, it went on so lightly. I was just like, okay, it just disappeared. Let me try that again. I added a little bit more and it kind of did the same thing. And then on a different section, I applied what I would think is way too much and it kind of did the same thing. It left my hair feeling nice, hydrated. 
and the difference between hydrated and moisturized, think of water. Water is hydration. But there's a difference between hydration and moisture. My hair felt quite hydrated, as if I had put something slightly heavier than water on my hair. That's what that's the best that is the best way I can describe that. It felt like I was putting something slightly lighter than water on my hair. That is what this gave. Now, the reason why it says a per personal preference is because some might love that. Because think about it. I get all the benefits of all those amazing ingredients. I still get to add that to my hair and it not weigh my hair down or don't be sticky and all that old different stuff. This could be an amazing product. And I'm not saying it's not for me. What I am saying is that when you're accustomed to using a leave-in that adds more moisture and pliability to the hair, it's a little jarring and a little bit to get used to when it comes to this because then you're like, okay, well, where's my leave-in component that you're used to feeling in your hair? So I leave you with this when it comes to this product. It's worth a try to see if you like it or not. I didn't fall in love with it, but I have nothing negative to say about it. I didn't fall in love with it. However, it didn't, it didn't do anything to my hair, it didn't make my hair, I didn't feel like it made my hair more clumpy, it didn't make it sticky, it didn't, you know, I still felt as though I was able to move forward with my wash day. This didn't hinder it, but I can't necessarily say it was an amazing added bonus. So I tend to not scream, go out and get it right now. Like I tend to not say, go get it, go get it. I'm not, I don't know. If you ha happen to ha have been in like Target and stuff, like you was going to get some trash bags and then you realized that you needed like a mop and stuff and then you just work your way over to the hair section. I'm not mad at you trying this. Remember, if you don't like it, you can always take it back to Target even after it's used. Just let you know. The only other thing that I would say is that I would not use this if I was even thinking about straightening or blow drying my hair. No. If you're a person who really, really enjoyed those ingredients, you're going to love this because it's wearable. It's not going to hinder your wash. Yes, son. You doing a video? I, I, I am. Let me get in the video, man. Come on. Say hi. Hey, people. The camera's over there. Where? Yeah. <laughs> hey. How can I help you, son? Leave all this in here. I, I, I don't plan to take it off. Okay. All right, come on. Do the video. I'm, I'm doing it. Can I, can you wash your hair later and not try this in your hair? Sure. It's I'll, honey. I don't never wash my hair anyway. So. But you, I mean, baby, don't say that out loud. You know, I teach people to wash their hair, and if they know you that I have Black a Black Panther. I know Wakanda forever. That's what I told them. That's that's what it's that's that's what that's what it's about. And I'm not editing any of that. You guys need to see that. This is why I record throughout the week when they're at school. Anyway, if you're a person who are really attracted to those ingredients, you're gonna like this because you don't have to worry about flies and gnats <laughs> being attracted to your head or anything like that. And it feels like nothing. It feels like nothing. Um, that could be great for people who like these ingredients and want that feels like nothing to their hair. And there may be others It's like, I want to feel my leave-in. I want to feel the coating. I want to feel the slips, I want to have those things happening to where I know the leave-in is working. So this product is all about personal preference. That is my thoughts on that bad boy right there. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped kind of gauge you into if you're interested in buying a product, if you're not, if you should try it, if you shouldn't. I hope that my little two cents helped and um, that decision making for you. I love you guys so much. If you haven't done so already, guys, please rate, comment, and subscribe. You definitely want to subscribe so you never miss another video on this channel. We are all we are talking about hair and makeup and all those good things. 
and interruptions from your children. <laughs> However, I hope that you you enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. Remember, you are bold, you are beautiful, and most importantly, you are blessed. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next video. Bye, guys. Question of the day, guys. What is your current favorite leave-in? Leave it below in the comment section so we all can get down to it. I know my old school favorite was the Giovanni Direct Leave-In, still amazing. But right now I've been rocking with Jane Carter, so I would love to know what is your current leave-in. Leave it below. Love you guys.